These musicians returned after injuries and other mishaps. There's an astonishing story behind this America's Got Talent contestant from 2022. I can't stop thinking about this teen singing her heart out center stage lived through a terrifying school shooting in 2021. My brother and I were a part of the Oxford school shooting and um, uh, we've lost four of our students and seven others were injured. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous though. Okay, okay, yeah. When she got on stage, she handled her story with a lot of dignity. My brother and I, we were talking to each other and we said there's no way we were ever stepping foot back in the school, but um, we've actually been in person in school for about two months now, so things are getting better. With me. She was a talented pianist who played all over the world. But in 2019, Sonia Bandula's music career took a life-changing turn during a weekend visit to Boston. Video shows Sonia and her boyfriend looking for a place to eat. We were just walking down the street. I saw a menu of a restaurant, and then there was not even a warning sign at all. Suddenly, the building collapsed. Sonia was buried underneath the rubble, her body crushed by huge chunks of stone. She was rushed to the hospital in a coma. I don't remember anything. The next thing I remember is just waking up about two weeks later and I was in the ICU. Angels were there and no, no doubt, no doubt. Then came a heartbreaking development. Her middle finger, necessary for playing the piano, had to be amputated. When it comes to my career being a pianist and literally revolving around my fingers, that's when I thought, oh, I really don't know how I'm going to make this work. Shift over to the left. Sonia underwent months of rehab. Five months later, she was playing again beautifully. With five fingers on her left hand and four fingers on her right. I have to rewire everything. My brain's just having a disconnect. Like, where is this finger? Each night I close my eyes and pray. Opera singer Charity Tyler Mendick was diagnosed with heart and lung disease and needed a second double lung transplant. It put her in a month-long coma. After her transplant, she had to retrain her muscles and learn to talk again. And it was this tiny wisp of a voice. And, um, and so I, I started singing every day and I doubled the amount of time because first, to get through a short song was exhausting. A year after surgery, Charity met the daughter of her donor, Esperanza Tufani, who happened to be an aspiring singer. I would have always wanted to have sang with my mom, but I didn't have that relationship with her. And getting to do that through Charity is, it's amazing. It's cities and country. Charity wrote a song to honor their new connection and the two performed it together during an intimate concert. It's amazing what we can accomplish when we, when we work hard and we're, we're determined. In 2020, Grover Williamson played the Tennessee Waltz on his violin weeks after being released from the hospital where he battled COVID-19. The retired orchestra teacher was a viral sensation after playing his violin while intubated in the ICU. It was his way of saying thank you to the medical staff who worked so hard to save his life. ICU staffers gathered outside his room, moved by his beautiful gesture of gratitude. After a grueling 56 days at the hospital, Grover was well enough to go home. Thank you so much. I feel absolutely wonderful. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. In 2018, Carrie Underwood geared up for a big return to the spotlight. Five months earlier, the country singer suffered a dangerous fall on the front steps of her Nashville estate that left her with a broken wrist and about 50 stitches on her face. Before hitting the stage at the Academy of Country Music Awards, she posted photos showing that she was all healed on social media. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.